What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about the Condor Recon chest rig. Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Condor Recon chest rig that I've got. Uh, this is one that I use. I uh, really, really like it. Uh, no, I have not moved into a uh, plate carry or anything like that. Um, those are really, really great options, but I'm just going to be talking about uh, the chest rig that, that I use because uh, I've done that big gear video where I had all kind of different gear in it, but I wanted to take some time to talk about each and everything individually and spend a little bit more time with it. I'm not going to sit here and go over specs, this, that, all that stuff. I'll have a link uh, to this down in the description so you can go in and check that out. Um, but as you can see up front here, uh, you've got uh, three pouches here where you can get six rifle mags, and then you've got pouches in front of that for you to put your pistol mags one two three four and then you got a double right here for six so you can get six rifle mags six pistol mags on here and then you've got some extra molly attachments on the side as well as in the back back here you've got molly attachments on this this is for you to put a water bladder in uh, and make it like a camel pack. I've got a totally separate camel pack. I really use this more for um, the book bag that you see. It'll zip, Velcro, and then you've got that. And then your Molly attachments are right down here on the bottom. You've got a spot where if you want to put a patch or something like that, you've got that option as well too. Uh, but not all of them come like this. Some of them will just have the straps that run up and across and meet here in the back for you to hook it up. Those are really, really cool. Uh, I just, I like this um, because of the little pack back here. I can use this kind of as a backpack if I want to put some uh, extra stuff in there. I can put different attachments on it if I want to hook a radio and stuff like that up. I also got here in the front a big, huge Velcro pouch for you to put stuff in and I mean worst case scenario it is wide enough where you could grab a plate and slide a plate down there and have some protection and then behind that you've got a little mesh pocket for you to put other stuff in and then on the front what I've done is I have a G-Code RTI HMAR adapter uh, to put a, a pistol on so again here's my XST RTI holster, uh, same one that I use on my belt that I just recently did uh, the video on, so you can check that out there as well too. It pops off right on to, there you go, and then here's the pistol, see it's clear and empty, put it down in there, there you go. And the reason I went with this one, they've got two different ones that you can get for a vest. I went with this one because uh, it's about the same as the one on my belt. I have 12 different options to rotate this to. So just like you would look at a clock, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if you want to go 12 and 6, or if you want to go 3 and 9, or 2 and 7, or 8, however that lines up, you can go however, because as you can see, I have mine at a little bit of an angle because it was awkward for me to come over the top like this and come up like that. With this, I'm right here on the side. I'm out and I'm ready to go. And then to wear, you've got this that will go around you. So this 
is a little buckle that I apparently cannot get undone. And then you've got a buckle on each side as well. That just comes right out. And So they've got really good options as well too, uh, as far as different ways or different chest rigs to run. Uh, they've got um, plate carriers and things like that if you want to run a plate carrier. Uh, if you're going to come to my class or just a re recommendation, if you're going to go to any rifle class and you're going to run a plate carrier with the plates in it, with full mags and all that stuff, Please take my advice and put that thing on with the plates in it, with magazines in it, wear it around your house while you're doing stuff. If you're vacuuming, if you're mopping, I don't care what you're doing, cutting grass, working on your truck, your car, whatever it is, while you're piddling around your house, put the thing on and wear it around. Yes, while you're outside cutting grass. If your neighbors want to look at you funny, oh freaking well. You know, who cares what the hell they think? All right, put it on, wear it for a little bit, get accustomed to it. If you can, put it on and walk some. 
I had one guy call me about it and I told him, you know, wear it around the house while you're doing stuff. He took it a step further. He had a farm, slapped it on. He went and humped it around his farm for probably, I think, like a mile, mile and a half leading up to the class. So put it on, get accustomed to it. If you do that, you will make it through the whole class with the plates and everything in it. If you do not, I promise you, about halfway through, maybe a little bit more, I would say probably about two hours left in a class, you're going to be shredding in plates. Yeah, or if not, you will be sore as hell the next day. So please, even with these chest rigs, when you load them down with magazines and rifle mags, pistol mags, if you're running your gun on it, put that stuff on it. Even if you're just sitting there watching TV at home, put it on and get accustomed to it and get your body used to it. All right? Please take my advice on that. Again, the link for this will be down in the description. It is the Condor Recon chest rig. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Please continue to subscribe, comment, like, share, get the word out there. I have started a Patreon page under South Carolina Gun School for ones that really want to go out and continue to really support uh, South Carolina Gun School. Uh, we're working on getting great, better things out on the range. And we're also working on moving to a indoor facility to where we can train non-stop without having to worry about weather and elements and all that stuff. So any support you can give is much, much appreciated. Uh, if you're wanting to, us to come to you, uh, we do travel uh, there, you know, call us. We'll get that set up, kind of go over pricing and things like that. But I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, huge thank you to all of my subscribers out there. Cannot tell y'all how much I appreciate the subscribing and the commenting and all the, the talk between everybody. It's, it's a really, really good thing to see because there for a while I was questioning keeping this YouTube page going. But we've continued to grow and we're going to keep, keep it going. And again, thanks to uh, my sponsors, uh, Get Right Personal Training, Lau Welding, UAG Custom Shop, and Carolina Barbecue Grills. Huge thank you to you guys for all of your support and everything. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live.